this is what you need for sculpting a head in Blender, believe me. First, I'm gonna tell you how I sculpt a head in Blender using an easy method from scratch. Then, I'm gonna explain head and face proportions and how to use them exactly for sculpting a head. So, let's get it started! First, Shift A and add a cube and then click Ctrl 5 so that it adds a subdivision surface modifier with level 5. Then click on apply, click on spacebar and search sphere. Choose this option to sphere and then drag the mouse to the right side. So now you have a perfect round sphere. So go to sculpting mode. Guys, please make sure to watch my video about start sculpting in Blender for beginners. You really need to watch this video for sculpting. First choose grab brush and in front view drag the sphere, then in the right view drag the bottom part to the left side like this. Just try to do it step by step with me and make sure to change the brush size with F hotkey whenever you need it. Drag the chain and then in this view push this side a little bit and then go to top view and in this view you should make sure that the back side should be bigger than the front side. Then go to front view and make this part round. Then choose scrape brush and decrease the strength of the brush. And then in this view, try to flatten this area like this. And also flatten the sides of the head like this. And then you can see that in front view, you have this kind of shape here. And you can see the planes we created and then start smoothing the whole shape. Guys, actually here we're gonna sculpt a head which can be both realistic or stylized. It's really up to you. I'm just gonna show you the easy method for sculpting a head here and, and also I'm gonna show you how I apply the proportions of the face and head to my character head. And after sculpting this base head with me, if you pay attention more to the details, you can start sculpting a realistic head with this base mesh or if you simplify the base mesh or make it more boxy shape, you can make a stylized character from this base mesh. That's okay for now. Let's go for the neck. Click M for masking. Start masking this area. Ctrl I to reverse the mask. Okay, now for dragging the neck to the outside, you can use transform tool and drag it like this. And also it's a very useful tool, you can use it for your sculpts, just like this. Now click Alt-M to remove the mask. Now you can click on Ctrl-R to remesh the whole shape, but I think it's better to wait. And I suggest you that when you're still in low level, start sculpting the base mesh as far as you can, and then when you need more polygons, you can go to upper levels. Okay guys, let's start talking about head and face proportions. About the eyes, I can say that the eyes are halfway between the top part of the head and the chin. You can see that I'm dividing this head to two parts and this line shows the place for the eyes. Okay, now for the other features of the face, we can use the thirds rule. Okay, now what, what is the thirds? Actually, the thirds rule says that we can consider somewhere around this place as our hairline or, or as the top part of the forehead. And from this hairline to the chin, we can divide this part to the three equal parts like this. You can see the red lines. And here it is top part of the forehead and this line is our brow line and also this line is the bottom part of the nose. I divide it from right view as well. So, so guys, I repeat the rule. The rule is like this. You should divide the part between the top part of the forehead to the chin to three equal parts. For example, here, uh, if we want to find the ear, 
we can say that the ear is between the brow line to the bottom of the nose. And this is the jawline. Guys, I repeat it again. Uh, the realistic and stylized heads are so different and also every human being has different face and head proportions. Also for the length of the eyes, you can see that we can have five eyes here and the distance between our eyes actually is one eye. And here we can consider our nose and the length of the nose are like this. And actually, if we paint these lines from the middle of our eyes to the downside, we can have the length of our lips. And also, the bottom part of the bottom lip is halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin. And you can see the purple line is the bottom part of the bottom lip. Also, another rule says that if you find the place for the eyes, I'm, I mean, as I said before, the eyes are halfway between the top part of the head to the chin. And once you find the eyes, you can consider the bottom of the nose in the middle part between the eyes and the bottom of the chin. You can use this rule as well. Also, you can see these lines that shows some planes of the head that we'll see them later. Okay guys, now we want to sculpt our ear. So go to the right side and then click on M and mask this area. And then click Ctrl I to reverse the mask. And go to the back view, use grab brush and drag to the outside just like this. And then click Ctrl M to remove the mask. So guys, let's start sculpting the face. Go to the right view, push the forehead by using grab brush and then push this place for the eyes and identify the place for them. Add some volume to the brow line with draw brush and then start carving these holes for the eyes using draw brush. You can use other brushes as well, it's really up to you, you should definitely Get familiar with the brushes as I explained them in my previous video. Carve these areas under the eyes like this and add volume to the nose. And try to check your character from all angles every time you are using these brushes and you are sculpting. After that, smooth this area. And you can go to the right view and check this curve. You should have this curve in right view. Then use draw sharp brush to draw the jawline. Then smooth it. Check the shape from all views and smooth. You can use your reference photos for identifying the shape of the nose, ears and other features of the face. Then add some volume to the cheeks using draw brush. Smooth it. And guys, you should check the strength of the smooth brush because it shouldn't be so high when you use it. If it is so high, you should decrease it. Otherwise, every time you use smooth brush, you would lose all of the features. Then connect it to the ears and add volume to this part and smooth. Then carve this line above the chin and ears and also carve this round line here and I'm using draw brush by holding control to carve the volume and after you mark this area try to smooth them and also carve this line under the cheeks and smooth and also you can use crease brush to mark these lines and show the plane changes on the face to make it more stylized. And also carve this line by using draw sharp brush from the eyes to the jawline. And after you do that, try to smooth the line. Also use draw sharp brush to draw these sharp lines around the nose and identify the nose part. And then smooth. 
move these parts of the nose to the outside and also try to drag the sides of the nose inwards and now smooth the whole shape also here is another line that you need to carve it from the sides of the nose to the bottom of the lips just like this and then smooth them now you can go to the front view and check your head and if you're using a reference photo you can take a look at your reference photo and and check your head from the front view and then do the same from other views as well then you can add some volume to the eyes by using draw brush or clay strips brush and then click shift to smooth then you can use draw sharp brush to identify the lines of the eyes I'm just gonna add some volume to the cheeks again using draw brush and then I'm gonna use scrape brush to flatten the cheeks and make it kind of stylized guys I'm saying again that this head is not too stylized or too realistic it's just a simple head simple base mesh that I wanted to show you the correct proportions and how you can start sculpting the head and block out the features of the face just like this and prepare your base mesh to sculpt your own favorite head okay now here I'm gonna use draw brush again and draw this line from the ear to the chin and show the plain changes here a little bit to make it more stylized and then smooth it now check your head again from all angles and try to match it with your reference photo as far as you can also check it from this view and make sure that these brow lines are round here okay now we can increase our polygons and go to the next level of sculpting so I'm just gonna use remesh and change the voxel size to 0.03 and then click ctrl R to remesh and then smooth the whole shape and be careful because we don't want to lose all the features that we sculpted we just want to have a smooth head here just like this if you like you can move your nose or ear just like this and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more volume to the cheeks using draw brush now I'm just gonna identify some lines and carve them to make them more identified than before and then use shift to smooth them I also identify the holes of the nose but not so far because they are not our purpose in this tutorial and in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how you can sculpt the base mesh for your head and I'm not gonna go through sculpt the nose, mouth, eyes, brows or ears it's just a base head I think first you should learn this and then go through other features of the face here you can also sculpt brows and identify the place for them and then smooth so guys if you are beginner in sculpting pay attention to the brushes that are used in different parts of the sculpting and also one more time I tell you that please watch my previous video which is about how you can start sculpting in blender and get familiar with the brushes if you're not now here I'm just gonna show you the place for the mouth and carve this line as the bottom part of the mouth I'm not just gonna sculpt the lips I just wanted to show you the place for them and in the side you should drag the top lip to the outside just like this then add some volume to the chin and then smooth the whole shape again now I'm just gonna go to the different views and make sure to check the head and the features of the face from all angles and use grab brush in case I want it to move apart okay for sculpting the features of the face uh, I, I mean for the eyes ears and lips you can identify their places and their shapes 
and start sculpting them in this level of polygons and then when you need more polygons change the voxel size again to for example 0 0.01 and then smooth and then then continue sculpting the details but for the purpose of this tutorial our base mesh is ready and I'm just going to change the voxel size to 0 0.01 just for presenting the base mesh you should practice a lot and I really suggest you that please watch this video again and follow me step by step and sculpt this base mesh step by step with me a few times until you memorize all the proportions and sculpt all of these features here this is really the base of your sculpting okay guys if you like this tutorial and it's been useful for you please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and please turn on the notification bell to get notified for my next tutorials because i upload useful tutorials for sculpting or 3d modeling every week make sure to watch them thanks for watching see you soon